بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده تعالى ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يدلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل وسلم على عبدك ورسولك نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما وأصلح لنا شأننا كله ولا تكلنا إلى أنفسنا طرفة عين ربنا لا تزك قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا كرة أعين وجعلنا للمتكين إماما So after thanking and praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the best of thanks and the praises that he deserves to see find that there is none worthy of being worshipped in truth besides him alone without any partners further to see find that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a slave and his messenger we beseech him to send his peace and blessings upon him, his family, all of his companions and whomsoever threads upon his way until the establishment of the last hour. We continue with this important matter, tremendous affair that brings benefit to all of us. And that is the adhkar which should be recited in the mornings and the evenings. We move on to the next dhikr and that is, which is found in the Sahih of Imam Muslim and the authority of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud where it is that he stated when the evening approach the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he would supplicate I'm saying وَأَمْسَ الْمُلْكُ لِلَّهِ وَالْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ أَمْسَيْنَا وَأَمْسَ الْمُلْكُ لِلَّهِ وَالْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ وَحْدَهُ لَا شَرِيكَ لَهُ لَهُ الْمُلْكُ وَلَهُ الْحَمْدُ وَهُوَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٌ رَبِّي أَسْأَلُكَ خَيْرَ مَا فِي هَذِهِ اللَّيْلَةِ وَمَا بَعْدَهَا وَعُوذُ بِكَ مِنْ شَرِّ مَا فِي هَذِهِ اللَّيْلَةِ وَبَعْدَهَا رَبِّي أَعُوذُ بِكَ مِنَ الْكَسَلِ وَالسُوءِ الْكِبْرِ رَبِّي أَعُوذُ بِكَ مِنْ عَذَابٍ فِي النَّارِ وَعَذَابٍ فِي الْقَبْرِ So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when it is that the evening approached he will recite this supplication we've reached the evening And in it is the dominion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And all praises are for Him. There is no ilah deserving of being worshipped besides Him alone without any partners. For Him is a dominion. And for Him are the praises. And He has control over every affair. O oh my Lord, I ask you for the good of what can be found on this night and the good that comes after it. And I seek refuge with you from the evil of what can be found on this night and the evil of what comes after it. 
My Lord, I seek refuge with you from laziness and also from the evils of old age. O my Lord, I seek refuge with you from the punishment of the hellfire and the punishment of the grave. And on mornings, the wording will be changed instead of beginning by Amsayna wa amsal mulku lillahi walhamdulillah it will be said asbahna wa asbah al mulku lillahi walhamdulillah the word masa refers to the evenings and the word sabah refers to the mornings so the narration says when it is that the evening approach that the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he will begin by saying amsayna wa amsal mulku lillahi walhamdulillah Therefore, in the mornings, this needs to be changed. Asbahna wa asbah al mulku lillahi walhamdulillah. So, this is a very beneficial supplication and a great zikr, a great remembrance, and a blessed phrase by which the believer or the Muslim strives to safeguard making mention of it in the mornings and the evenings. Every morning and every evening. And it is that which is established by the noble Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So individual who does this, then he is following his direction his firm direction or his guidance. As for the supplication itself, then in the beginning, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, as we stated, he began by saying, Amsayna wa amsal mulku lillah, walhamdulillah. We have approached the evening and in it is the dominion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in it is the sovereignty or the dominion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And all praises are for Him. So this directs us that the evening has approached and we've entered the evening. And in it, as we stated in this statement, is a dominion which is in the control of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And take heed that the dominion is in the control of Allah all of the time. In the evenings, in the mornings, midday, during the night, the dominion belongs to Allah all of the time. And it is specifically His. It is specifically his. So this here is a clarification of the condition for the one uttering this statement. Contemplate upon it. It's a clarification of the condition for the one who is uttering this statement. Amsayna wa amsal mulku lillahi walhamdulillah. It means that we acknowledge, we understand that the dominion belongs to Allah and that the praises are for Him alone and no other than Him. Therefore, we turn towards Allah only and we specifically direct our worship and praises to him Jalla Jalalu and for Allah Tabaraka wa ta'ala is our gratitude to him we direct our praises and our thanks for this reason the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam announced thereafter the Tawheed of Allah Azza wa Jal he announced thereafter 
his affirmation in singling out Allah Azza wa Jal. Because we said the supplication begins, Amsayna wa amsal mulku lillahi walhamdulillah. Then what did the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said afterwards? La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah. Lahu al-mulku wa lahu al-hamdu wa hu ala kulli shay'in qadir. These words of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is just as we clarified yesterday with the similar sentence or the similar testification. And that is that there is none that truly deserves to be worshipped besides Allah Azza wa Jal alone. وَيَنْبَغِي أَنْ أُلَاحِظَ أَنَّ كَلِمَةَ التَّوْحِيدِ so at this particular station, at this particular station in the du'a, it is a must that we pay careful attention or we take notes of the most tremendous affair. Kalimatul Tawheed. This here is the religion of Al-Islam. Why? Because this is that which the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uttered upon his tongue which shows us the great importance of this matter. The great importance of Tawheed. So the Prophet wasallam, he openly proclaimed and announced his Tawheed. And we said that attention must be given to this statement, Kalimat al-Tawheed. So the statement, Kalimat al-Tawheed, is La ilaha illallah. Pay attention, eh? And la ilaha illallah, it comprises two pillars. It comprises what? Two pillars. The tremendous statement that we utter upon our tongues comprises how many pillars, Abdul Bari? Two pillars, Mutaz. What are those two pillars? And if it is that these two pillars are not present, then the reality of Tawheed would not be established. Yeah. The reality of Tawheed would not be established. And those two pillars are an nafi wal ithbat. The two pillars of Kalimat al Tawheed is an nafi wal ithbat. That is negation and affirmation. Pay extremely close attention to this matter. An nafi wal ithbat. So when it is that we say la, which is what? Which means no. Good? We know that the kalima or the word la, it means no. So kalima tawheed, it begins with la. Ilaha. Therefore we know that this is a what? It is nafi, it is a negation. It is a negation. So what is being negated here? The negation of worship for every other being that is created. Again, la ilaha is nafi, it is negation. And that is a negation for every other thing that is worshipped. Then we have the next statement, which is what? Illallah. We said, La ilaha is nafi, is a negation. Then after La ilaha comes what? Illallah. And this here is the affirmation. This here is ithbat. And that is an affirmation of worship for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, after this, Wahdahu la sharika lah. Amsayna wa amsal mulku lillahi walhamdulillah la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah. And this here is also nafi wal ithbat, a mighty affair. 
So after the first nafi wal ithbat, then there was a reaffirmation here in this statement. There is a reaffirmation here in this statement. Good? When it is that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uttered wahdahu, then this is a reaffirmation of ithbat. A reaffirmation of what? To reaffirm. Meaning that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone wahdahu is the one that should be worshipped. And then when it is that the statement La Sharika La is uttered, then this here is a re utterance of negation. La Sharika La. That there should be no polytheism or other deity which should be ascribed to Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. So this here is Ta'kid. مِنْ بَعْدِ تَأْكِيدٍ The first statement is a what? It is a reassurance. And then you have وَحْدَهُ لَا شَرِيكَ لَا which also reiterates the kalima التَّوْحِيد Inshallah be patient. We will finish it tomorrow inshallah. You want to finish it today? Now we can't because we'll, 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 we'll go beyond the time that we supposed to, to make use of. Now, we will suffice with this and continue tomorrow with the success and tawfiq of Allah Azza wa Jal. We ask Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala to make these matters easy for us and to make our hearts receptacle to everything that is good and everything that Allah Azza wa Jal loves and is pleased with. May Allah Azza wa Jal give us all a good ending. Barakallahu feekum wa subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha ila ant astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk.